Have you ever been confused by metallurgical terms like alloy steel, tempering? What's the difference between steel and stainless steel? Can I weld cast iron and other things like this? Well, if these questions have puzzled you, stick around because in this series of videos called Metallurgy for the Rest of Us, we're going to look at those questions and so much more. Things like, what is steel? What is the difference between steel and stainless steel? How does the steel numbering system work? Are there more than one steel numbering systems? We'll look at how you harden, temper, and heat treat steel. We'll learn how to use the heat treaters guide and much, much more. You may ask, who is this guy that's going to tell me about steel? Well, my name is Jason Lonnon, and I'm a blacksmith, woodworker, and a maker and user of fine hand tools. I've been blacksmithing for over 25 years, and I've spent 15 years teaching welding and fabrication in the North Carolina Community College System. One of the classes that I taught regularly was welding metallurgy. So much of the content for this series will come out of those courses that I used to teach. I've also been a certified welding inspector. Now, currently I lead a small team of highly skilled makers, and together we build a series of specialized wood carving tools for hand tool woodworkers, things like bowl adzes and carving gouges. We also make draw knives and a variety of other specialized carving tools. I also sell uh, American-made alloy steel to other blacksmiths and tool makers. Our current offerings include round bar of 5160 in a variety of sizes, 4150, uh, 4140 in rectangle, as well as some aircraft grade 4340 and some 52100 bearing steel. Now, if you have any questions about basic ferrous metallurgy or other terms you'd like to find, leave a comment below and give me a suggestion of other things that you would like to see in this series. And we'll see you in the next video on the steel numbering system.